What's going on, boys and girls? Back at it again with another episode of Super Samurai Piggy for you. Before we begin, please do not forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends, let them know what we're doing, let them know what we're drinking. And today, we are going to one of Lincoln's Beard Brewing Company's Core Beers. So this is the Peace Wazy IPA. And you know Lincoln's, you know that I brew there and I have done a video on them in the past, so you can check them out right up here. And yeah, so Peace Wazy, it is one of the first beers that they started out with. It is a core beer, it is there all the time. And we brew it constantly because, you know, the regulars love it. So this was done on our second canning run. This beer is not available in cans anymore, but we do have it in the tap room. So if you want to go grab a mason jar or a crowler, I bid you adieu, come through. Let's get some beer. Let's uh, hang and talk. I mean, at a distance because you know the, the times that we're dealing with right now. So this baby's coming in at 6.7% ABV. And on the side, it reads, Dear Weirdos and Beasts, we wanted to type some prophetic and deep words here, but frankly, like most of you, we're at a complete loss. All we can say is, we love you, and thank you for keeping us alive. We have never and will never forget what you have done for us. Abraham Lincoln said it best, I'm a success today because I had a friend who believed in me and I didn't have the heart to let him down. Love, Beard and Beast family. So, as you know, Lincoln's Beard, we are the umbrella, and Strange Beast is one of the branches of our growing empire. And yeah, so the what I love about Lincoln's Beard back in the day, well, I mean, I love Lincoln's Beard now, but what I love back in the day, what they used to do is, you know, they, they kind of made fun of the beer descriptions of what they would put out. So the beer description that they used to have that shows up on untapped is like its namesake the beer carves its own path its throat ripping tropical and piney hop charge is lifted up and carried by a smooth malt backbone just aggressive enough to be to keep baby out of the corner drink this beer and you'll be crashing pottery classes in no time so i love that and i love you know how they how we used to do the descriptions we should get back to doing that but yeah, so this is the an, an American style IPA, and where the term IPA comes from, it's India Pale Ale, and what that means is back in the day when Britain started do, doing trade with India, what they would do is they would leave their compatriots there in India. So what would happen is the people that were staying in India would die of dehydration because they weren't used to the liquor that they were drinking there. So what the what the british people did is they were like hey you know what we need to send those boys some beer some some pale beers so they can make it through so what they did was is they over hopped their bitters and that is so the trip for the beer would be from starting in britain it would go all the way to the united states now and then it'd go all the way back up to india that was the trade route that the ship would have to take. So to keep that beer fresh, they would overhop the beer and thus the India Pale Ale style was born. So the India Pale Ale style back in the in you know the UK now, it's very different than the American IPA style. So in Britain and in the UK, what they would do with their IPAs is it's kind of like a malt and hop. There's like a balance between the malt and the hop, so you get a little bit of both. And while a lot of American IPAs might have a strong malt backbone, hops are hops are king in, in ipas here in the states and you know the hops that we use here are typically tropical piney resinous like we, we use these really dank crazy hops and we really push that bitterness factor in, in all the ipas that we use so while in the uh, back in the uk the hops that they have are more woodsy and earthy so the, a lot of different like you if you put a, a english ipa and an american ipa right next to each other you'd be able to tell the difference like right there and then so yeah, I think we've talked about enough about it. It's time to drink it and see what we think. And I just have to say, it's very hard to keep the regulars happy. Me and Danny brew Swayze constantly. And so it's, there are some people that say they can taste the difference, but I think this is a beautiful beer and we're gonna check it out right now. So check out that color and like typical of American IPAs, the, the color can go from a very pale golden color to like a reddish amber to where, you know, this kind of falls 
in between. It's like it's like a, like a very rustic gold, but it's dipping more into that like reddish amber color side. Has a nice little head retention there. Mm. So while you do get the characteristics of the malt in the scent, again, hops is king. It's very tropical, very piney. We use citric, mos citra, mosaic, and is it galaxy? I need to check. I, I can't believe I, can, I forgot, but whatever. You get very tropical piney notes in the scent. Oof. Medium body, completely washes over the palate. You get hit with that, that malt backbone first, but then it immediately dissipates and you get hit with those hops. Again, what I, what I do appreciate about this beer is that the hops coincide in, both in the scent and in the taste. So you have like a nice resonation of the hops on the back of the tongue. It kind of just sits there and like rests and settles out. And it's just like, as I'm talking to you, the taste is still there of the hops that I just drank. And I mean, it, it's, it's a great drinking beer, super crushable. It is like, I would maybe guess between six to six and a half percent. So it kind of matches well with the taste versus what the beer is. So, I mean, it's just a great drinking beer. And you know, I'm happy it's one of our cores and we are brewing this constantly. We And again, we completely finished these cans. So we do not have these anymore, but we have it on tap. So you guys are more than welcome to come on down, check it out have a sample, get a crowler, get a mason jar, or, you know, if you have your own growler, bring that bad boy down and we'll fill it up for you too. And yeah, I'm going to go finish this because I'm very thirsty and I have some reading to do. But guys, before I go, I just wanted to say thank you so very much for tuning in and checking me out, talk about the beers that we are producing here. And very soon, I'm going to stop being so selfish and talking about my beers and talking about beers from other great breweries that I have sitting in my fridge that I need to get to. So before I go, hit me up. Let's talk. You can catch me on Instagram, Patreon, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, those places. Let's chat. Let's talk. Have you guys had Pete Swayze IPA before? Do you like the IPA styles? Do you like West Coast? Do you like East Coast, the, the New England IPAs? What's your typical IPA go-to? Let me, hit me up, let's talk, let's chat. Drop, drop a comment below and we'll chat, we'll chat about it. And yeah, also before I go, you know I always like to give love to the people that tuned in and I already see my, my dude Craft Beer Vert in, in those comments. Craft Food Tours, what's going on guys? Josh is here, 88, how's it going? The homie, Craft Beer Vert, Tony Reineros, my dude Gabe, what's going on dude? Yeah, this is uh, She Wears the Plants, how you doing? My lovely wife, Little Madi. Scott Bennett, how's it going man? The homies Beer Tales, check them out. They have their own YouTube channel as well. The homie Younger Yohokai, making that bomb chili oil and food. El Craft Beer, El Craft Aficionado. My bad. Master Yoda. My homie Nick Brews Beer over at Bottle Logic. What's going on, dude? And Brulahan, amazing home brewer down here in Miami. If you can get his stuff, get it, because it is bomb. Samako, Bearded Brune BBQ. What's going on? Oh, no. I completely forgot to do what this would go good with. Okay, so let's do that. Before I completely messed up. So this, I feel like you could pair with a lot of foods. It has the malt character, it has a hop character. So it has that nice little balance of different things that you can do with it. So first off, what would I start with? You know, honestly, I don't know why it just popped into my head, but like some tostones with some vaca frita on top. Oof, I feel like that'd be delicious to pair this alongside with it. I feel like you can definitely, already in my head, I'm going to tacos. I would go with like some carnitas. I'd go with some uh, carne asada. I'd go with some, eh, I wouldn't really do fish tacos with this, but 
Then on the other on the other side, I'd go straight Indian food. I feel like a, a beautiful curry would go well with this. I feel like some you know just some fresh baked naan would be amazing with this. Some samosas would be delicious with this as well. And you know just I feel like a nice cake, some, something really spicy could go really well with this. And as far as I I just thought about it now too, like a fresh fried red snapper or, or like a hogfish, I feel like would be delicious with this. I feel like, hmm, there's Sergeant, he's giving me his input as well. And yeah, I feel like you could do a lot with this because it has that balance. So it's not, you. it doesn't lean too much. So once like the, the hop does take precedence over the malt in the like, after the fact, but you could do a lot with this beer. And yeah, so sorry about that. I completely don't know why I skipped that today, but I got to it, which is most important. And I'm gonna get to finishing this beer. So guys, again, thank you so, so much. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you tuning in and a lot more beer videos to come through. And I have, oh, Nikki Drinks Craft, what's going on, girl? The homie, Monica, what's going on? And yeah, guys, I love you. Thank you again. Um, I, I, I don't know why I'm so flustered today. I love you guys. Be safe, be healthy. Let's crush this shit so we can get back to hanging out and drinking beers and breweries again and just, you know, seeing each other. So, guys, be safe. I love you. I appreciate you. Till the next time, my friends. Cheers.